towing troubles. Complaints about a so-called predatory towing company in Gastonia have led police to being called to a vacant lot at least twice this week, including today. Fox 46's Matt Grant is live at that lot right now where truckers say they are being targeted. Well, yeah, Brian, as you mentioned, police have been out here to this lot at least twice so far this week. The towing company did give us permission to park here, but drivers say that they're parked here for about 10 or 15 minutes before they get booted while they're still inside the truck. It's an easy place for truckers to park and get towed. Get from of my truck. Glenn Keller called 911 after his truck was booted Wednesday while he was still inside. It looks like extortion to me. It makes me look like they're criminals and, and, and uh, uh, members of the mob or something. He says he was given an option, pay to have the boot removed or shell out five grand to have it towed. We're the good guys. You know, we're the guys that make sure the groceries on the shelf, the clothes on the rack, the new cars in the parking lot, and that we have to deal with these predators. Cops have been called out for years to this vacant lot off I-85 and North Chester Street over complaints about predatory towing. When we arrived, police were already on scene. DJ Durham says he pulled over for a roadside emergency when he was booted. He telling me he put a boot on my car. So I grabbed my phone. I said, well, I'm going to call the police. He tell me that's an extra thousand dollars if I call the police. I don't know how somebody could charge you for calling the police to make sure everything's going 100 and everything's legit. It's more the more time I sit out here. Southside towing owner Brandon Abernathy says what he's doing is legal and police agree. The lot is private property and there are posted warning signs. It's not a truck stop. When someone's in the car, why not just go to him first and say, hey, you can't park here. Can you move? instead of just automatically putting the boot on when he's still in the truck? Well, the, re the reason we don't do that because we do have signs and by law and ordinances, we don't have to. It's not something we have to do. Um, it's just the way we do the way we do our stuff. He says his prices are in line with what other companies charge. So I feel like what I do is a fair price. I would say anywhere there's posted signs that say private property, I would not park there. Back live, Abernathy says his drivers don't sit and wait for trucks to park. He says when it comes to tractor trailers, he boots the tractor and the trailer separately, charging three grand for that. I did reach out to the attorney general's office. They say uh, that a double boot and a double charge is something their office may look into. We're live in Gastonia. Matt Grant, Fox 46.